All right, I gotta show you this, because it's ridiculous. This is a ribeye steak, a walleye filet, with some bacon, and a mystery sausage hash with asparagus, garlic, green peppers, red skin potatoes. What? We have got a beautiful evening for trolling. We're headed back to camp. We've had an exciting day. A lot of fish caught. I think 13 or 14 fish today. Mostly pike. Two smallmouth bass. One monster lake trout. I can't tell. I've never caught anything on this rod before. It's so stiff. It's not bent at all. Ooh, that's a big walleye. And he's barely hooked. <laughs> Look at that. Chunky boy. Please don't be a pike. It's good. Please, please don't be a pike. Then it's a walleye. Please don't, please don't be a pike. Staying down. Walleye. Nice job. You just, keep it? If you can get it in the boat. Yeah, it's a perfect eater. This is a chunky fish, dude. Nice. It's got to be 18 or 19. Good morning. It is morning three. It's 5.30 a.m. We've already packed up camp and we are ready to move spots. We wanted to get by that lake trout water uh, where I caught my lake trout yesterday. <clears throat> I think that area, when it's windy anyway, holds really big fish, so we wanted to move camp. So instead of having a two and a half mile paddle to get to that area, we're gonna have about a quarter mile paddle. So hopefully that campsite is available. We haven't seen anyone on our trip since folks traveling, passing through on day one. So it should be available. We are going to sprint to that spot. I caught that lake trout yesterday, fish for a little while, then go set up camp, and maybe have some lunch. Um, we've got a little bit of traveling to do today before we get to fishable water. So far so good. Yesterday was a great fishing day. We caught about 15 fish total. Uh, that one massive lake trout was super impressive, but otherwise just kind of average size. A few 
mid to high teens walleyes. A few pike in the 20s, uh, nothing super impressive. Outside that one lake trout, um, we hope to get by better water today. Yesterday was kind of stagnant once that wind died. We didn't really have any luck fishing until the evening when we were trolling shallow cranks for walleyes. Um, so I hope it stays windy. We're supposed to have a south southwest wind today, which will be fantastic. Duck, which will be fantastic for that spot um, we were fishing yesterday, if it can stay windy. So we're optimistic that the fishing's only gonna get better. Lac LaCroix to ourselves. We saw multiple groups of people day one on the way in. But since we've gotten settled, we haven't ran into anyone. Day and a half now since we've seen someone. <laughs> Little buggy, little buggy. <laughs> Come on, let's paddle. Oh, why does it have to be stagnant? Where's our wind? Start of day four. We are trolling just a couple hundred yards from our campsite. There's this channel we want to go check out. Hopefully it's an area that'll hold lake trout. We continue to have poor weather for fishing lake trout. Uh, it started out really windy this morning, so we slept in. Uh, and now it's stagnant and hot again already. It's only 7.30. There's almost no wind, which does not bode well for lake trout what's frustrated us the last couple of days it seems whenever the wind kicks up we catch fish whenever it dies we can't catch anything so hopefully the wind picks up today because this has not helped us catch fish as of yet but we're checking out a new area so we're optimistic yesterday was a real struggle only caught a couple of fish from shore joe did catch his first lake trout of the trip which gave him all four species for the Grand Slam. Congrats, Joe. Thanks. Very exciting. Uh, I'm a bass away from a Grand Slam myself, but we don't care about that. We want lake trout. Secondary walleye. Are you good? Might be a bass. No, we're over 50 it? feet of water. Yeah, I do. Sorry. This is dead weight. This might Oh, this is big. There we go. That was in the middle of nowhere. 
55 feet of water. 40 feet out. This has got to be a trout. It's still pulling hard. Just waiting for it to go. 3, 2, 1. This is a big pike. Predator fished by a bait ball. Nice fish. Big bait fish. I think it's another pike. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it, don't you know? 120 feet. Could be a walleye. It's doing head shakes. So that indicates that it's a fish. 82. Good work. Good work. Three, four, three today. Three. Three and a half. This lure is working, but I bet it's another pike. I'm gonna see it. I think I'm spinning it. It's either a decent walleye or a pike. An annoying. I want to eat a walleye. It is a pike. Pike, bad pike. Another cookie cutter 26 inch. Yeah, yeah, I see ya. Just skinny. Sad. Angry. 22 inch, probably. <sighs> Another pike. Who cares? Fish that swims and is not happy about you right now. I should lay that felt kind of trouty. What, what are you using again? Chrome Rapala Husky Jerk. A couple more head shakes. He feels about the same size as the others. Come on, lunchtime, Northern. You can do it. You're, we just talked about it. Drag anything around. Right. Fill up, we'll empty out the food pack, fill up the liner bag with water, and turn it into a live one. Here it goes. Wouldn't that be pretty neat? Mm -hmm. Walla gator. If that's a I mean, that's pike. Another one. Same size, cookie cutter. Seem to be a snag. The other way. Big pike, nice. Boga? Yeah. Scar. Nice fish, six or seven pounds probably. Yeah, six.
A lot of healthy pike here. Let's just cast shorelines. Let's go paddle around and cast. How's that? Or jig or whatever. Cast jigs. Perfect eater. 25. Six. Nice fish. Thanks. Look at that chunk. Nice. Um, is that lunch, please? I suppose, if you want to. It's a perfect size. Yeah. from camp on our second to last morning we we're gonna go fish that spot <clears throat> we fished on opener day Saturday four days ago three days ago whatever that was and caught that giant lake trout we're hoping this calm morning will be good for some vertical jigging in deep water We shall see. Another perfect morning in the boundary waters. Sun's up already. It's probably already 60 degrees. Likely gonna be another warm day. Hopefully not as warm as yesterday. Got up to about 80 degrees. That was unpleasant. Fishing was not good. And it was uncomfortable to be in the boat. Unseasonably warm weather. It's another sizable fish. <laughs> now we're fishing. It is a nice. Don't worry, the camera
camera's definitely rolling. Make sure that boot polish is good. <laughs> Jeepers. No, 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 no. Cha cha. Ugh. All right, so rarely do I ever have the conditions to do this, but right now we've got a wind that's pushing us at a half mile an hour. We're working this shoreline and anywhere from 25 to 50 feet and just drift jigging with jigging wraps. That's why we're jigging so aggressively. Oh, missed him. God, that would have been perfect. I was talking about it. That was another big fish. That might have been that big one that was following. Anyway, we're just drift jigging with jigging wraps and snapping really aggressively. Basically, the second it hits the ground, reeling the slack and snap. This is probably one of my favorite types of fishing because it's so fun. You're actively just ripping. You can do this with a jig in a minnow, too. Something about the jigging wrap just really turns these fish on, especially when they're kind of neutral like they are now. After a long night, I'm getting them to wake up. 34 feet. Crazy. We're on Lac Croix late right now, looking south, and something is burning. Seventy feet of water. Coming up a little. You can smell burning balsam and pine. It started a couple hours ago. What did you say, like 2.15? It's 5.30 right now. There you go, fish suspended at 30 feet. <laughs> Joe, what's going on here? Are you just ripping a spoon off bottom? Yep, oh. I, I left my three ounces of weight smack bottom. And did a couple of rippy poos. And then, then reeled in a little bit so it... appears to be a large fish. <laughs> Man, that's, I might need to open this. Here. I know. I've never really landed a big fish on this pole. You're fine. Just don't. Oh my God. Too long. Don't. Just don't horse it. Whatever you have is massive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, my God. Just keep tension on the line. Don't let it flop around out of the water. <laughs> this is a giant lake trout. It has to be. What did you get? What did you get? <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen a larger fish than this fish you're gonna catch right now. <laughs> I've never seen a fish fight like I'm this. I'm gonna turn around and do it here. No. I don't. Whatever you're comfortable with. I, I, I don't know. I think it would make sense for me to land it with the bow gun, you to just steer it. Okay. I don't want to this up. All right. So if that's what you think, I'm gonna just keep tension on him. You'll be fine. So I can see it. It's 20 feet down. Has to be a lake trip. I think it would have surfaced by now if it was a bike. There's leader. Keep in mind that this is by my face. I 
see your weight. It's just swimming with the boat. Oh my god, it's a behemoth. I think it's bigger than the one I caught. Dude, oh my god. Just keep tension on it. Keep tension, he's swimming with us. Are you ready to let go of you? Yep. Straight up, rod tip straight up. My god, he T-boned your... Okay, he wants to go. Got it. Oh, they're all up in him. Probably enough. two inches wider. That's good enough. Yep. Got a, good One, pictures. Yep. Jump to the back. Yeah. I think if you had its mouth closed, it would have been two inches longer than right down the middle. Right down the middle. Two inches longer than the outside of the gunnel. Yep. Are you serious? Yeah. That was, that was somewhere between 39 and 40 inches. That was bigger than the one I got. What did the boga say? I didn't look. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that was bigger than my leg trout. So the edge of the gunnel is 37 and a half. Yeah, it was just shy of 40. It was 38 or 39. <laughs> it's bigger than mine. <laughs> That's <laughs> troll, bud. Who are you trolling? Just dragging a huge spoon off. Three the ounces. I let the three ounces hit bottom, and then I reeled in. Wind. A foot or two, and then wind. Wind. Oh my gosh. I'm shaking right now. Thank you for helping. That was huge. Yeah. That beast flock. Yes! I can't see it. It's a giant lake trout. Yeah, buddy. Oh my god. Holy sh That's a dinosaur! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 